Hi, my name is James and welcome back to the CADSpec YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you just how easy it is to install Inventor on your laptop. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's start by logging into our Autodesk account. I'm just going to type my email address in here. Just going to type in my password. I do have two-factor authentication turned on. Uh, and then what we're going to do is just click in the top right, products and services. So from this screen, we can see all of the software that has been assigned to us. In this case, we want to be going for Inventor Professional and hitting View Downloads. I've been working on quite a few projects recently in Inventor 2020. So in this case, just hit the drop-down menu, click 2020, and it's there. We're on a Windows 64-bit system. We speak English. Anyway, in this instance, we're going to be hitting Install now. Just click the button and some light reading. So we're going to hit Accept, Install, and then move my face, Inventor Pro, and this is the launcher executable file. We want to be hitting install, install on this computer. And I think at this point, it's safe to go make yourself a cup of tea. So now that we've come to this window, it's asking us which piece of software we'd like to install. We've got Autodesk Inventor Professional 2020 selected here, and we want to hit next. This is asking you where you would like it installed. And then a few moments later, <laughs> okay, so now that we've restarted our computer or laptop, we hit the icon for the software that we want to launch and we're given a statement about their privacy, which we'll agree to. This is where we lose quite a few people. It's going to ask you how to activate your software. And this especially trips up some of the veterans here. Because people who have been using the software for a while might remember a system called serial numbers. This is not the case anymore. It is done entirely through using your Autodesk account information to log in. So we're going to hit activate. And then here it is. This is the really important bit. Don't skip over this. You want to be using the same information that you used to log into that Autodesk account at the start of this video to gain access to your license. In this case, I have two step factor authentication on so let me just type in my code that I just received we do recommend having this put on you can protect your data I'm just waiting for the computer to do the final checks and here we are looking at a fresh new inventor project now that we've covered how to install Autodesk inventor for a PC that should get you all up and started I've been James and thank you for joining me make sure you subscribe Bow.